this is sabina again welcome 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 guys my name is sabina formerly known as Pat beauty here on youtube to all of my new subscriber or to anyone that was browsing through and came across this channel welcome 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 so what we do here is guys we are fabulous for less we go looking for bargain prices, we find unique items, and then we come and start them to our own liking. On this channel, we believe we don't have to break our arm, our legs, our toes, or arm, just to be gorgeous, you know? So, yeah, this is what we do. So today, guys, I got another video for you guys. Um, I am doing just going to show you guys my vintage designer bags, bags that I found from eBay, Poshmark, anywhere from low end to high end, from Magica to, I mean, from Magica to Ted Baker, all the way to Louise. I think the only thing we're missing in here is uh, probably a Chanel. But yes, I'm just going to show you guys some of my vintage pieces and just want you guys to also know that you can still have luxury at affordable prices. You don't have to spend the 2000 3000 if you can. You can look, especially if you're into vintage pieces, you will be able to find a lot of vintage designer um, bags. To find a brand new one at affordable price, it's kind of a little bit harder. So the vintage one is the way to go. Most of the bags are not new, but I'm just showing you mine designer, especially vintage, all of my bags mostly vintage except for maybe one or two that i just i mean got and it's not even like an extra high-end one but guys if this is something that you like just sit tuned maybe you might want to grab a glass of water or wine or juice or whatever because i'm anticipating this video to be anywhere between 30 to 40 minutes and guys please 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 don't forget to subscribe Please subscribe, guys. Please, please, please. Let's make this family grow. All right, guys. With our father ado, we're going to jump right into it. Here we go. We're going to try to start with the lower end ones. And then maybe work our way up. But before we start on uh, the handbags, I always have to show you my little one or two finds that I got. Because I'm not going to do a whole video with them. Like I said sunglasses is a serious accessory for me guys like don't play with my sonnies we're gonna get in trouble when, when it comes to that i'm just kidding but i do love sunglasses i wear them all year round and i just believe it's a accessory that can just uplift your outfit so yeah i kind of like them i got two this almost look masculine. I got this for on DHgate. It said Dita. I have never um, Googled this brand. Don't really know what this brand is all about. But we got them. They kind of a long wire frame. It's because I have this most sunglasses. Sometimes works for me. But here it look almost masculine, but it's still cute. I think it is cute, guys. What you guys think? I'm looking straight ahead in my bathroom mirror, and I think. I think we're cute. All right. And this, guys, I'll put the price, but it probably was like anywhere between $15 to $20 for a piece. It said Dita, D-I-T-A. I never heard about that brand. Like I said, I order it. It came in and I'm like, oh, okay. This one is like the same square face glasses, but it oriented. It have like this. And they have a little glass over here. This thing came with serial number and everything in it. It didn't come in any case. They said made in Italy. It didn't come in any case. It just came like this um, bubble in the stuff. I don't know this brand, but here we go. So this is the other one. I think she's cute. I think with the two, this is my favorite among the two sunglasses. Yeah, if you know anything about the brand, leave me a comment down below so we can talk about it. Don't know about this brand, so the glasses kind of thought it was cute, but when it came out, like, oh, I don't know anything about this. So that would be my next assignment to figure out which brand is this. But I think she's cute and I think she's serving looks. 
all right guys we are father ado because we have a long uh, video we're going to start with my bag we're first going to start with this magica i just magica is like a middle range designer magica make good bags but i guess since they started sending their bags to china to make uh the value kind of like went down a little bit and i think he used to be a creative designer for one of these fashion house i don't remember which one but yeah my checker is not that cheap but it's not like a high-end luxury bag i got this one for on ebay on uh, recent um but it's used um this was kind of floating in tj maxx of lately it was selling for like 150 i got this one for 60 dollars used this is like um like a cream beige color that will match us shoes that i got i love the lock the lock is really pretty um the gold highway on this thing is good as well this is like a small little mini bag it's a the ground so it's the ground by mark jacobs i don't know if you guys can see in here and also this one and we just have one in a pocket this bag is made in china but it still is a beautiful bag um you have a decor and uh, uh everything in here so this is my recent bag i'm going to try to leave uh prices for these bags and if i have a link these are just sellers so um yeah the ground by mark checker and I think it's, it's, it's a little nice small bag. Next up, we have another My Jacobs that I also got for on eBay. This is like a real vintage one, kind of love the vintage feel. I love vintage purses. Um, yeah, love the gold chain on here as well. I think this is really cute. Um, this is just a pickup bag if you're going to go out quick you just grab this and you on your way this one was made out of in italy or spain yeah this is a made in italy like i said it's a vintage piece so um i got this for a real reasonable price on ebay i can't remember how much but i don't think it was up to 50 dollars i don't think so beautiful got like a nice beige color um lining just one open pocket nice little number if you ask me it's a beautiful mag checker bag so as you guys can see this came from another thrift store i believe in on uh, texas but they do list the items on eBay. So I will see if I can find the links and leave it in there if you guys want to check it out. They sell designer bags too. It's a trip, vintage thrift store in Texas. All right, guys. Next up, we will do... Next up, we're going to do my tear baker. This is a vintage tear baker purse. I got this from on Poshmark. Have not used it yet. I think it's a cute, real cute vintage bag. It have like this gunmetal on hardware on here. Very sturdy bag. Um, it have the signature tear baker um, lining in here. We have one in the pocket. Um, this bag, I don't know where it was made, but you have all the tags and everything in here. I'm not going to go through all of this so the video can be too long, but this is a real nice study uh, vintage bag. You have notes, so this is just like a handheld. You cannot even put, oh yeah, you can put it over your shoulder. So yeah, beautiful beautiful vintage bag it's in like a cream black and there's a pink a little bit of pink uh, color here i got this for a real reasonable price maybe like 20 or something dollars like i said i will find the prices and list it below next up guys 
is my Bottega. I found this Bottega form, vintage Bottega form on eBay, uh, maybe around a 60 something dollars. It came, it has some imperfection. I bought a bag um, pinned to a pin over it. I got the wrong one. So then I have to go buy the right, the, the right color and that's why this bag is so shiny because I pinned over it so much. And that's why it looks like this, making me to not even wear this bag so much. But yeah, this is my vintage Bottega, uh, authentic one. Sorry guys, I put all these bags and everything to keep the bag in shape. And you have like this bright interior lining and you just have one pocket. I don't think I even worn this bag since I got it. So it's a shame and I've been having it for at least two plus years now. I need to wear it. I kind of like really got the wrong color and the next one I put on it just make this bag so shiny and I think that's why I've not worn it. But it's a shame. I need to wear it. So that's my vintage Bottega. And you can see the Bottega Veneta on this little gold hardware that you have here. Next up, this is another vintage bag. This is by Famagamo. I got this from the thrift store and I think I paid $65 for this. This is listed on my Poshmark. You have the date cold. The Famagamo here. It's a large bag and it's a patent leather one. Uh, I'm not so crazy about it. That's why I listed it on Poshmark. It's a little bit on the heavy side. Remember now, guys, this is vintage. Pay yeah, $65. They, were, they listed this bag for 100 and something dollars. But for 50% off, I think it was 135 or something. 60% off, so it came to 60 something dollars for this bag. Nice one. So... Vintage from my gamble. Also, guys, I have my vintage Celine bag. I had two. I saw one on Poshmark because I didn't want to keep all two of them. This is a nice little open bag a lot of people this bag is setting on poshmark for 400 dollars right now nice selling vintage purse i'm gonna keep this and i think i got this for around 30 something dollars maybe about seven or so years ago on ebay and right now the price has hacked up to four something i'm gonna hold on to it kind of like it too though yes guys So that's the Celine. Next up, we're going to do my vintage Chloe purse. This is the Chloe Parlock bag. I got this too for on eBay. This bag is sitting on the rear rear, I believe, for anywhere around $350 to $400. I got mine for like 30 something to 40 something dollar it been so long and ebay had kind of like moved past those um purchases i think now after every year they clean out your purchase history that's what i'm just estimating but i do know that i didn't pay more than what i'm saying i paid for it so this was between i don't know maybe 60 something dollars but i didn't pay up to 100 dollars for this nice we still have the lot i think i kind of broke something on here or something kind of broke itself on here it's supposed to be like this but something is off oh i just realized something is off and i'm i'm going to take it to the um shoe shop 
so they can fix it. This this thing that closes the lock right here. Okay, I put it back on there. And so this is how it is. And you zip this up. So you zip them together. And this is how the Chloe is. When I first saw it, I like, oh, this is not real. But this is how Chloe is. She have gold and silver on all her um, vintage bags. I have a couple of the other Chloe vintage bags, but I sold them on Poshmark. I'm trying to think, is this the only one I have left now? Probably. I think I saw the other ones. And you just put them here. It's because I haven't done it. So this goes with this and the lock go over it if you want to lock it. And the key is right here. Where is my key? I just saw the key. I have the key. So we have the key right here. So the key does open the lock. So the lock is open and because this thing is broke now i don't want to mess with it but we do like this where is the other one all right we got both of them on there and we just put the lock on here Oh boy, sorry. <laughs> I didn't think this was going to give me a headache. And then we lock it with the key, I believe. So it is locked. So you open and lock it with the key. You just don't push it. So we have that on here now. And it can go here. So for the price I paid for this bag, guys, this is why I don't get rid of them because at that time if i knew i was going to be buying more of these bags and have them now because the value is going up um yeah this is in like a brown leather very beautiful the deco and everything is in here i just don't want to go through everything guys but this is my chloe polyton bag bag this is my jimmy Chu small vintage clutch that i got from on ebay and this one i believe i paid up to 60 or 70 dollars for this one i don't know why i did it but this bag when i was researching maybe earlier this year or the end of last year and this was being sold in this little bag was being sold for like 600 dollars it had the tag yeah, it had the price tag on it, and this bag was at Saks for $670. When I bought it, the person sent this along with the receipt. I don't know where I put the receipt, but it was $670 for this little thing. Right now, you can find this bag for at least $400 $450. I never use this thing. This thing is just sitting here collecting dust. But yeah, this is my Jimmy Choo mini saber and gold um purse so yes guys next we are vintage i am going to show you my vintage uh carolina harabers purse i got this one i think the beginning of this year or the earlier last year on ebay and this thing i pay I think $150 or $160 for it. When it came, I was like, why did I have to pay that money? But this little bag is so pretty because you know when you take the picture, it's so big and I thought it was a little bit bigger, but when it came, it was small. I was like, I didn't, I didn't want to pay all that money, but there was no return on it. So this is like a cow skin, like many colors. Beautiful. This bag is setting for around the same $400, $450 as well. But I'm going to hold on to it. This is my only Carolina Harara's bag for now. I'm hoping to get some um, affordable price. Her bag range anywhere between $1,000, $2,000. But you can get it. I've been seeing a couple of newer ones on Poshmark for like $500. I kind of offered to get $429. She didn't want it. So I'm like, never mind. 
do another Jimmy Choo. I got a couple of Jimmy Choo. I just didn't want to bring all of them. Big vintage Jimmy Choo purse. A black one. Hobo star. Like really big. I don't know what the value on these bags right now. But this bag, I think I paid like $65 or $75 on eBay. And those are, those was, that was years ago. So when she sold the bag to me, she told me. I don't eBay or Poshmark. She told me that she changed that the scrap on here is not the original scrap because the original scrap got messed up. So she took it to the uh, store and it put a different scrap on, on this. But this scrap is even heavy, it's durable, it's portable. I rarely wear this, but at times I do. It's really, really big. It's a big hobo. Beautiful Jimmy Choo. Have like this belt detailing all around it. And yeah. You open, you got an opening, it have a big zipper pocket. This bag is so big that I have a lot of stuff in here. See the Jimmy Choo, it have a real nice velvet lining that makes the bag heavy as well. It's not like a lightweight bag, it's really is a heavy bag. But I love it. I had to put my some of my uh, MS paper in here because it's big. And yeah, so this is my Jimmy Choo Hoover Star bag. I don't know her name, but if I do, when I'm editing the video, I'm gonna leave it in there for you guys. Nice little vintage bag. Once more. Oh God, sorry, I'm not trying these bags on for you to see. This is how this one look. So it's over the shoulder. Really nice bag. I just don't wear them so much. All right, guys, we're gonna pass that because I'm not going to go back and grab other than. This one, I swear, I think this was my best vintage find. This is a Blasienga or Balenciaga bag. She's missing the mirror. I got this for on uh, eBay for twenty dollars. I so vividly remember this stuff because I didn't know what it. I didn't know what the brand was at that time. I was not even into brand bags. I just saw it and it was there. And I like. I like the color. I like that it's leather. So I kind of the person like. I just like. Can I get it for twenty dollars? They said yes, and I just. Paid the $20 they came. I had this bag for so long. I almost donated this bag <laughs> to, to Goodwill. And one day I was just sitting there and somebody said, ba Balenciaga, when I go, I'm like, oh my God. It have the serial number and everything in there. I'm like, I almost gave my vintage purse away. This bag now on eBay is going for like two, $300. I was going to give this away, guys. And I don't even have designer like that. So, if you can see here, it's a Balenciaga. It's kind of faint, but it is the Balenciaga Paris. I know it have a code. So, let me see if I can find the code. Oh, my God. I have this bag for so long. I got my marker. For my marker, cause roll on in there. I found some quarters. I got some mess in there that I'm going to leave. It have a dead call. Where is the dead call? Yeah. It do have a dead call. It got an outside pocket. And oh yeah, the dead call is faintly underneath here. Yeah, so this is my mass designer score with Balenciaga. I paid twenty twenty dollars for this. That's how much I paid for it. Twenty dollars. And this this is how it looks like. And it's a shoulder bag, hobo star as well. And I'm not getting rid of it. Alright. Next find from eBay as well. 
is my Barberry, my only Barberry purse. Um, I got this for around sixty-five dollars as well. Love it. Don't wear it so much. Don't wear this bag so much. But the fact that I found my vintage pieces for a good and affordable prices, maybe I just hold on to them. You see all in here it said the barberry. This still came in all over here was kind of like um fade out. So what I did was also bought a paint that looked like the color and then I just repaint over it to make it look a little bit nicer. She so said the blueberry, a barberry, and I don't know if this have a deep coat, but this is authentic. And here. Yeah. So this is my Barberry. I think I pay around $65 for this. If I do have a price somewhere, because I think I made a video before with these bags, I might see if I can find the prices and put them back. We are trying to get rid of the vintage pieces. Another vintage piece that I have is a dope. I was blessed to find a couple of Jimmy Choo for on both eBay and Poshmark. So this too is a large hobo size one. This is like um, purple lavender. This bag is big as well. Like I said, I used to love big bags. I just started getting into smaller purses. But what I like about this bag is all these details on here. See all the details on the bag. We have the Jimmy Choo have the Jimmy Choo. It's a real large bag. So I got so much crap in here. Like the other bag, it has the same lining. So you have the Jimmy Choo made in Italy. It has the same lining in here. I can't remember how much I paid for this bag though. So I don't want to estimate. But none of this bag cost me, not these ones cost me like $100. It's literally, I started paying like $100 for my bags on eBay. But before, they were already reasonable. So you have the authentic tag over here. And without anything in it, this is how it look. So I'm going to put everything that I took from in there, put them back. And then we can show you how it looks. This would be like a good diaper bag if you're a mama. And smoothing it out a little bit. Make it a little bit smaller. This bag is my Fendi Spy. The large one. I got this one for on Poshmark. And I paid like 200 and a change for this one. I bought a product too and it stupid me. I saw that product on the real real and that was my last sale on the real real because they made me got less than, I bought that bag like 300 and something and the real real sold my bag for like $100. The real real sent me $100 for that bag. My product bag, I regret it so what I saw that bag. But yeah, this I got. So the problem with this bag is it's missing the it's missing the um little lipstick holder that's supposed to be right here. It's missing that, but this is the large the Fendi Spa bag. I have been trying to see if I can find a lipstick holder. In like the brown color brown or black and i would put it here but i have not been lucky so you know that list the holder just keep the purse on uh, steady because they don't have it this thing don't sit on them like i said this is the large one this is the arm right here and i have so much things in here guys it's not even funny because the bag is so big, I keep a lot of stuff to, to hold it together. 
and it have that Fendi um, signature whatever in here and you just have the tag right there and I paid 200 and something dollars all right that's my Fendi spa bag vintage Fendi bag I'm really hoping one day I can find the cards even a thick one with brown or black lipstick holder so I can put it on here my piece is my YSL large bag I got this one like not too long ago from on eBay and I will list the price it was around a hundred hundred and something dollars I paid for this black I also got a Givenchy but that bag is so big and I'm having a Givenchy but yeah Givenchy I'm not showing it in this video because the bag is so big and heavy alright that's the inside you have the deco in the back you got a YSL and this was YSL Saint Laurent Paris. Huh, I'm not um making out the words that it said there, but it did call the lash bag. I don't know why I really love big bags, but this is how it is on you. It's kind of cute as well. It also have like this little um lock on here, and there's a key to open it. This is the key, and they have the lock. I don't use the lock. This is also a big, you can travel with this bag. Put a lot of your stuff in here for travel. All right, so that's how it's YSL. I don't think it came with a strap. I don't think so. All right, next guys, we're going to talk about our Louis Vuitton. So we have this Louis Vuitton. Is that a Palatone? Mm, I think so. So we have this small one as well. Authentic. It's always hard for me to find a deco on this bag. But a deco is there. I have to go and Google like deco for Palatine before I can tell you where it is. So I'm not going to even um, struggle with that. But this is authentic. It had a deco on there. I just never find it. And this two I got from on eBay. I won the bay, and I think it was around 198 or 195. This was in like 2016, 2017. At that time, you could be on eBay with confidence, but now it's like everybody just got them so greedy. Yeah, this is my body turn. This is a little shoulder, or you hold it in your shoulder. This bag is selling for like a thousand dollars on the rear, rear, or um, how you call the other one. Yeah, selling for that price. So, we're gonna do my own Gucci. This Gucci was one of my good finds too. I think I paid like 60 something dollars plus like shipping or maybe this bag didn't even cost me a hundred dollars. Authentic Gucci purse. Black, black on black, Hobo Star. We have the red interior lining in here i think when she sent it she sent it with um the receipt i don't know if she sent it with a receipt she sent it with something and yours truly don't know where it is now 
did call in the bag. So you can see that it's really authentic because I do have replica bags. None of them came and that stuff looks this good. So it has the whole book like thing in here. Gucci last storm somewhere. Pretty. Come ready stock and pack. No none of my stuff. And they also have the decor of the bag on the back of this. I really I don't think I have worn this bag since I got it more than once. And this was in like around 2018. I know she sent a snap of picture of the receipt or sent a receipt for me and I didn't know how I put it. This is silver hardware and when you wear it, this is how it is. It's a whole bunch of stuff. Or you can just hold it in your hand like that or like this. Guys, that smells so good. I uh, use the... Um, Afrochon perfume to the spray and it smells so good. That smells so good. Let me show you guys what I use. It's such an affordable perfume, but mighty smells better than most of the designer one. Afrochon smells so good. You guys should try. It's really affordable. All right, we're just going to quickly go through this because this has been in a lot of my bags. My Valentino that I found from TJ Maxx for $350. Nice one. I just showed this. I'm not going to go through it. Yeah, you can find designer bags at the local um, place. Next up, we got like two, we got five more bags, guys. We're almost done. This is the Speedy 30. That I got from on eBay. You can tell this is worn out. This is cut off. I have the piece somewhere in the back. I just never had the time to take it for them to fix it. This is really worn out, but it's still good. You know, you say people, you get fine, like old wine. Like when the wine is old, it's more pretty. So me love me bag. Nice bag. I kind of beautify her with little stuff because she's old we got some shoes we have some little bow thing thinking on here and she's pretty she's cute she's seven um yeah those pieces that fell off i was telling you about is right here i have the lock but i can't find the key so I just keep the lock in here. Um, and yeah, oh God, we're looking for this. This was the this stuff for my Louis Vuitton shoes. My next one, guys, is gonna be a shoe haul. I'm gonna show you guys some of my shoes that I have. And yeah, inside pie. I just don't know where to find all of this did call right now so i'm not even sweating it but these guys are authentic the did call is there i promise you it just take me a while to find it i have to google like where is the did call that uh, this one okay the did call is on right here and yeah that's my speedy turkey And I think I paid like 200 and something dollars for this one. Next up is my armor. You guys know Louis Vuitton like kind of revamp the armor. You got a BB, the MM. I'm holding to my, my Wee Wee, which is my vintage one. Or my VV. We all know how she is. The letter in here. One small pocket. 
you can see all this thing on here. I want a bit as well on eBay for like 200 and something dollars. A couple of years back, she too is dressed up. She got a shoe, she got a horsey. So I might need to take, I need more of these shoes. I need to go get some that came in from AliExpress to put it on my other bags. She's cute. And I want this day for 200 and something dollars. So the last three is now a vintage bag. This is just one of my most recent designer purchase. Like, um, not such a high end, but something that most people carry. My cut Gia little tooth. This came from Saks. It was like 160 something dollars on sale. They have like a shoulder strap, never used it. Um, have a little buckle on the back here. She don't take much. She just cute. Uh, I don't know if they have a suggested retail price on her. They just said one size Kajia. And she's right here. It came from socks. It was socks, not socks fifth. And I think I paid $165 for this. She still haven't been worn yet, but she has to be worn. That's why I'm taking many vacations because when I don't have nowhere to go but other than work and home, then I don't get to use these bags. And you can close her just for security. Like just a little mesh and the leather green, the lime green, pretty. The next one I have, this was gifted to me as a Christmas person. This is the Mac Jaker on uh, the tote bag. Guys, I bought a bag from AliExpress. <laughs> I wanted to do comparison with it, with the authentic and the fake one, but that bag is you know, junk of rubbish I have in the room there. I need to find a way to clean that place up. Yeah, so this is my Mac Jacob, the tote bag, the small one. I really want the hour like, like I need a small bag. I need a small bag and good thing I got a small bag because I got too many large bags. And it's a full brown leather. Came with a little tag, have receipt. I want to find money. I'm not finding money in here. They have the code somewhere over here. Have the stamp because that don't look like a code. And you have a crossbody strap, so you all know the ground. You hold it like this. You cannot put it over your shoulder, but you can definitely put it on um, crossbody and this is how it would be so that's mine my checker bag so i'm gonna put that in here to keep the bag a little bit sturdy and that's my ground no that's this is not the ground this is the tote bag and i'll show you the ground area area so yes this is my last but not the least guys this is the most expensive bag i have here so far this is my tom four bag that i just recently purchased from ebay authentic tom four they advertised this bag as um new but it isn't i think it was used maybe once or twice or maybe it stays so long in the store i'm not sure but you can see here i think this is the large one tom four is not cheap this bag is about two three thousand dollars actually two thousand 
Let me see. I think they send it to Aquafit. Yep. Came with all the booklets. And I think one of them have a price tag in here. So, this is US $2,750 for this bag. You see the thumb for it? It is lit, y'all. This is the code. And this is the little booklet. $2,750. And I got it for $550. So I saved $2,200 on this bag. So you have the little lock. I think this is a design. I don't know. It have a key. You can actually open it. I have not done that yet. But you can open this. Use the key. Open it. Get this stuff. You have the Tom for right here. You have that little Tom for signature lock. I am hoping to find a shoes. A Tom for shoes that will go with this bag. That would be so cute. I love the zipper detailing. Very big gold. You have three compartments in this bag. And when you open it here, you just have a little opening. This is in like a nude, nude pink color. So yes, guys, this is my authentic designer bag collection. Half of which is um, vintage. I am hoping as times go by, I will be able to put like some real uh authentic brand new ones in my wardrobe but it's not a concern for me right now because i have other bills and stuff i have to pay i'm doing all of this for myself it's not a complaint so whatever i have i'm fine with whether it be designer whether it be my 20 dollars bag whatever i'm rocking for that day i rock it proudly because it's mine i pay for it i own it you know what I mean? But anyway, guys, thank you so much for taking your time and hanging out with me. I hope you guys like this video. We're going to try to keep bringing content as much as we can. And I hope you all had a blessed week. Remember, ladies, we have to think smart, be smart, and dress well. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.